Welcome to the World of Tanks Blitz official YouTube channel and in this video we're going to show you the ropes in the iconic T-34-85 Rudy. It's a tier 7 Russian medium tank with a twist, so let's get stuck in. The T-34-85 is an iconic Russian tank, but this is the T-34-85 Rudy. It's a fictional T-34-85, identified as number 102 of the 1st Tank Brigade of the Polish Army. This tank is featured in a Polish TV series named Four Tank Men and a Dog. Now in reality, the T-34-85 was actually produced in Poland in the 1950s. The Polish variant was slightly modified from the Soviet tank from the late war period. How it stacks up in game is where this matters. The T-34-85 in the Russian tech tree is tier 6 and it is overtaken by the T-3485 Rudy at tier 7. So we're going to break down this tier 7 tank for you so you can see exactly why it is so popular. Now the mobility on this tank is 54 km an hour forwards and 20 in reverse. It has a power to weight ratio of 21.2. Combine that with a traverse speed of 67.32 and a turret traverse speed of 55.89 and this tank struggles in absolutely no area in terms of mobility. This is a true to word medium tank at tier 7. Obviously that is crucial to get that gun around. Now the gun, it features an average damage of 200 with the AP and 170 with the APCR, 144mm of penetration and 194mm with the APCR. Gun handling on the Rudy sits slightly above average for its counterpart tier 7 mediums with an aim time of 3.6 seconds and a gun dispersion of 0.32. A very workable, very useful 8 degrees of gun depression that allows you to hide as much of your tank as possible just poking those ridges. Combine that with a 4.5 second reload time gives you 2688 dpm. Combining the mobility of this tank with that gun allows you to work the flanks and get behind enemy tanks with absolutely no problems whatsoever. And that is one of the absolute keys of this tank because the mobility and a 4.5 second reload allows you to rush around the flanks and also rush in and help your heavies and your tank destroyers. It also helps you avoid shots because combining the mobility with the ability to re reload quickly can get you out of some sticky situations. Now let's check out the armor on this thing. Now on paper it doesn't have the greatest of armor. It has 75mm on the front, 45 on the side of the hull and 40 on the rear. The turret features 90mm on the front, 75 on the side and 52 on the rear. On paper this thing doesn't have the greatest of armor. Its secret lies in its shape. With such a rounded frontal turret and 90mm of armor it becomes quite troll, very very bouncy. And the upper plate, 75mm, when using the full 8 degrees of gun depression can also make it very bouncy and very reliable. Now with 45 on the sides you can hug a rock like shown here and allow people to shoot the tracks and the side as long as they are equal to your mediums or less. However the safest thing to do is use your 8 degrees of gun depression and hide as much of your tank as you can. If you find yourself out in the open in front of a big nasty gun your best hope is to rely on that rate of fire and perma track any tank you can come across. This will allow you the time to get your tank back into cover just poking out to continually track it and keep the target's gun away from you. In doing so because it's a premium tank you will be rewarded with credits and a fair amount for a tier 7 tank as well. And that's it for this video, we hope you have enjoyed it, we hope you make use of the information provided within said video to help you on the battlefield in your T-3485 Rudy. Don't forget to check out the other tank guides available on this channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the battlefield.